Make Cebu a better place to live, play, and invest. This is just one of the aims of the first ever woman governor of Cebu province, Governor Gwen Garcia. Uplifting the lives of every Cebuano is her thrust. Thus, various programs and projects were initiated and implemented, paving the way for Cebu to become the premier province of today. Since the start of her term in 2004, her administration focused on Cebu's development based on a 12-point plus 2 program that touches all aspects of human development in infrastructure, water, power, and health. In infrastructure, even unborn children are recipients of her care for service birthing centers were constructed, while provincial and district hospitals were also built and maintained. The youth of Cebu province are being honed to further become an accomplished individual. The Lady Governor believes in the importance of education. Governor Gwen Garcia spearheaded the construction and turnover of two classroom buildings all over the province. Concern for the elderly of the province is just as important as taking care of children. Thus, senior citizens' buildings for all of its towns and component cities were constructed. Easy access was given significance as provincial roads were asphalted, barangay roads concreted, and wooden bridges were converted to concrete. Other buildings, port, and airport facilities were also constructed, maintained, improved, and repaired. To ensure the availability of potable water for Cebuanos, Various water programs were undertaken. Water work systems in the province were rehabilitated, improved, and expanded. Level 3 water systems were also provided in all barangays in the province and carried out the development as well as operation of a sustainable bulk water supply system. In power, Different sitios and barangays of the province were energized through the barangay electrification programs where sitios have already been lighted up. To assure enough power supply to sustain the province's unprecedented growth, strong public-private partnership in power and energy management were established. Finding alternative sources of energy was also explored one of which is the utilization of solar-powered street lighting fixtures in the cities and municipalities. Aiming to secure a healthy and wealthy province, the governor has conducted various activities under the health program. Comprehensive and increased medical surgical services are made readily available at the district and provincial hospitals. Delivery services for pregnant women at birthing facilities were also provided and the occurrence of food and waterborne and notifiable diseases have significantly decreased. Through the province's full health indigency program, the indigent families were enrolled, the largest universal coverage in the country. Group accident insurance were also facilitated, covering barangay officials, barangay tanod, and lupon tagapamayapa. Barangay Health Workers and Nutrition Scholars, Daycare Workers, Barangay Animal Health Aides, and Bantay Dagat Members. <music> Governor Gwen Garcia's administration is indeed a working administration of the people, for the people. With her leadership, Cebu has really gone a long way, moving towards change and progress, a place to live, play, and invest. Because in her administration, success is measured beyond figures.